Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day. So today's video is a fun one because it's all about my favorite things currently. I asked you guys on Instagram if you would rather see a current favorites video or another Target haul and you guys rated a current favorites video as highest. So here I am today. A Target haul will be coming again though because you know I've got some things to show you from Target. So that will be out next week. Um, but today I'm talking about all the things I have found that I love or that I've been loving recently. I've got a little bit of beauty, style, some kids stuff, kind of a little bit of everything. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So first I have to address the elephant in the room and that is my lipstick. I feel like my look in general today is very different than I usually go for. It's so funny because just changing the color of your shirt can like make such a difference, but I typically have a white shirt and kind of neutrals and today I am rocking this bold red lipstick by Fenty Beauty. So I was influenced by the Bird's Papaya on Instagram. She wore this like months ago and I was recently checking out at Sephora online, saw this lipstick and I was like, ooh, I just kind of want to try something new. And this is the most pretty, just like perfect red, I feel like. It goes on so smooth, it's so easy to work with. I'm typically somebody who's scribbling all over the place when I'm putting lipsticks on, um, or liquid lipsticks at least. And this one is just so simple and it's the most stunning, like versatile red color. Sometimes it can be hard to find a good red lipstick as a blonde and without it, I don't know, just being too harsh or it kind of automatically gives you like a vintage Hollywood look, I feel like, which was totally my jam in high school. But now I'm I'm looking for something a little more modern and this lipstick is definitely it. So this is in the shade Unattached. I also picked up a nude from this line as well that I really love. I don't know where it went, probably in my bag from using it, but this red is so pretty. I'll pretend I'm a beauty guru and show you guys the swatch too. Is that what they do? Do they still do that? But that's what the swatch looks like. Um, it's just so simple and so pretty, I love it. I'm actually just gonna start talking about all the things I'm wearing because I'm currently wearing some of my favorite things. So the next thing that I wanted to mention is this necklace. I've been rocking this necklace like nonstop. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen it there multiple times and I've gotten some questions from you guys about it as well. So it's this double chain link necklace with a Z pendant on it. This is from Goriana. All the gold jewelry I wear is always from Goriana. They're my favorite brand. Um, and this is their Parker necklace. They make it in a simple strand, like just one across, and then they make it in a double layered necklace like this. It's great because you can actually open it up and wear it as a longer necklace. I'll show you guys. But you can open it up and wear it as a longer necklace if you'd like to like this as well. I like to loop it around because then it kind of gives me that like choker layered look. Um, and then I tend to put it with some sort of pendant or something like this. You can get any charm to put on it. They have all of the letters in the alphabet. So I actually got all of the charms to spell out Olivia as well. And I have the single necklace version of it with all of those, but I've been really liking this double layered version. Um, and then my sister-in-law got me this Z charm for my birthday as well. So this is just like the prettiest, most simple necklace. It looks really on trend and it goes great with layering with a bunch of jewelry, a bunch of gold jewelry like I am always wearing. They also have different pendants for like, I don't know, I know they have like California ones and different state ones and different things like that too. So I'll have them linked down below if you're interested. Then the next and last thing I'm wearing that's a favorite of mine currently are these silicone rings. So I've gotten some questions on these as well. These are by the brand Enzo. This is what the logo looks like. Oh, this is what the logo looks like. You guys might have seen them on Amazon. They actually sent me these a while ago, like before Arlo was born. And for some reason, I just like have really started getting into it. It's actually not just for some reason. It's a very specific reason and that is called quarantine and new mom life. <laughs> and so these silicone rings, this is what they look like. They also have men's ones too. So Jordan wears a silicone wedding ring like this all the time. And then they sent me a few different styles here, but I love to wear these because they're just so good for doing things around the house. I can sleep in them, I can shower in them, do dishes nonstop in them, and it doesn't stretch out, it stays really comfortable. I don't even notice I'm wearing it, but when when I go out in public, I like to have some form of like a ring on, I just feel naked without it. And so I really like that I can leave these on and forget about it. Cause we are the type of people that if we don't wear something like this that we have on 24 seven, we forget to wear our rings. And so when I was pregnant, I was always going out getting nasty looks from older women, which I am like, a, 
I'm shocked that that's even still happening. My heart goes out to all the pregnant mamas who don't have a wedding ring to wear. It's so stupid that people give looks like that, but it made me hyper aware and made me realize like, oh, I actually forget to wear my wedding ring like all the time. And so a silicone ring like this not only helps me remember to wear it, but I love that I can do chores in it, shower, do the dishes. Like if I can do the dishes in it and not even notice it's there, it's like, golden for me. So they have a bunch of really cute styles. You can also find silicone rings on Amazon for pretty inexpensive, um, but this brand I can just testify to that I really like it and they're really good quality. All right, so next up, I'm just gonna go in order of like whatever's sitting in front of me. So the next thing are these two coffee mugs. I showed these in my Target haul. This one says get after it and this one says see the good. They're like these nice sturdy stoneware mugs. I have found myself reaching for these more often than all my other mugs in the morning just because they're so positive and uplifting. I am somebody that I like get really, I don't know, inspired I guess by visuals like this and so when I'm drinking my coffee and I see that it says see the good it just is that little reminder I need to just be positive that day see the optimistic side in things and the get after it one has really kept me motivated to just like get after it like get shit done that day so I really like both these mugs both from Target they were like five bucks each $4.99 $4.99 you can't beat it and they're such good quality and so sturdy they feel good in your hand I love them. Next, I have a pair of sandals I wanna share with you guys. So these sandals are ones you've probably seen all over Instagram, not just on my Instagram, but like any bloggers Instagram. I feel like these are just like the shoe of summertime. Um, so these are the Steve Madden travel sandals. This is the tan color. They have these really pretty studs on them. Oh yeah, there we go, pretty studs. Um, so these are the travel sandals. They're super popular. I feel like so many bloggers wear them in basically all of their outfit posts. And so once again, I was influenced. Um, and I picked these up and I love them. They have quickly become my very favorite pair of sandals. They just go with everything. They're super comfortable. So they have like this really squishy footbed. Um, they fit perfect, like spot on with sizing. They wrap around the ankle and are just like so trendy and you can dress them in so many different ways. Like they literally, they make, a tank top and jean shorts look really stylish or you could wear them with a dress and they look really cute there and where whenever I wear them I get questions about them so I actually ended up picking up a second pair you guys know my motto if you like it get it in a couple different colors so I got this second pair and these ones are just clear straps they look almost identical um, but they're clear straps with the studs as well sort of like that old school like 90s jelly vibe and jellies remember those so I like both of these. They're just like my new favorite neutral sandal. I get so hot while filming. I started keeping this fan from my hospital bag. I started keeping it next to me so I can like fan myself off while I'm filming. That's like probably so diva like, but otherwise my back gets so sweaty. All right, next I'm shifting to beauty a little bit. Um, so this is the Tan Lux The Butter Illuminating Tanning Butter. So this is like a giant lotion butter version of the tan Lux gradual tanning lotion so I've talked about this one this is like the gradual tan self tanner that clearly this is an empty bottle I just happen to have in my little empties bin I go through these so quickly I love them but when I saw that tan Lux came out with this version that's called the butter I was like "Ooh, I need that because I love the gradual illuminating lotion but this is very thin like when you put it on it's actually super watery and the tan it gives you is great I use this all the time I swear by it um, but it doesn't give you moisture and I have super dry skin naturally and especially if I'm like pregnant um, or anything like that and so I would often find myself putting this on and then by the end of the day I needed or even by the afternoon I needed some form of like body butter or lotion or something like that so this solves that issue it works so good it's so moisturizing I've only used it for several like two or three days now and even in that time I can see the difference of the tan on my skin and it's super moisturizing moisturizing and I haven't felt like I needed to like re-up on moisturizer or lotion throughout the day. So I'm so excited to have this. Not to mention this pump is just so much more practical than the top on this thing. Like this is just all around like the glow up version of this guy. So probably won't be buying this anymore and it's it's gonna be all about the Tan Lux butter for me from now on. 
Another beauty product I've become obsessed with in the last couple months is this Lancome Lash Primer. So depending if you follow me here, Instagram or wherever, you may know a little bit about my lash journey. So I got my lash extensions not taken off. They all fell off when this quarantine stuff first started in March and I haven't gotten them done since, but I decided to take it as an opportunity to just invest in and love my natural lashes. And I am so glad that I have been doing that. So I've really been focused on taking care of them, but I've also also been focused on just like making them really accented in their own natural way and adding a lash primer to my daily makeup routine has just like changed the game for me. It has made my lashes so good. They look so, I mean, not to be like conceited, but they look so, compared to where they were, they look so long and like they look like I've got falsies on when I don't. And I think a big reason for that is because of this mascara combination I use. So this is the Lancome primer. Um, it's just like a simple white primer like this that you put on before your mascara and it really lengthens, but it lengthens and volume your lashes without making them too like thick and spidery and like like I like the spidery look but I need to be able to work with it you know I actually recently got the Marc Jacobs primer as well to try this one out and this one I like it's like a little bit of a peachy primer with a thicker brush um, I actually really like the Marc Jacobs mascara so I thought I would like the primer more but to me it's nothing compared to the Lancome one the Lancome one is just so good like it doesn't make my lashes clumpy it makes them really soft it's just the perfect base for mascara and it really gives that like falsies look that I love. I don't curl them at all. I've gotten that question. I don't curl them at all. I just use the primer and then the mascara I use is um, actually also by Lancome and it's their Mon Monsour? 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 I took Spanish in high school and didn't do very good at it so I'm not very good with French but it's this mascara right here. It works so good. I used this a lot before I got false or like lash extensions. I used this for a while and then I went back to it when my lashes came off. It's got a nice big wand, um, just works so good. So I do the primer, I do two coats of this stuff and I'm good to go and it looks, in my opinion, it looks good. Another beauty product that I am reliant on is this Tula Rose Glow and Get It Eye under, or under eye balm. So this is their cooling and brightening eye balm. Um, Tula is a probiotic and superfood skincare company. I have a lot of the thing, a lot of their things. I use their like daily cleanser. I use their primers. I use their tinted primers. Um, they're a great skincare company in my opinion, but this under eye balm, I showed this in one of my videos um, where I was walking you guys through my morning skincare routine in a vlog and I have used it every single day since and before that too. It is just so good as part of your skincare routine and it like, so what I do is I put it underneath my eyes like this and then I actually put it on the tip of my nose and like a little bit on the bridge of my nose as well because basically anywhere you put it, it's going to have an extra glowy effect to it. I really like like that and not to mention it's also cooling like it claims to be cooling and it definitely is when you put it on you can actually it feels like you have under eye pads or under eye patches like underneath your eyes it's so coolly and kind of tingly but not too much and it doesn't last for too long so it's just like a nice like temporary momentary feeling of like pampering and I love doing it every single day. Makeup or no makeup, it gives me a glowy look. It's great underneath my makeup for a little extra oomph. It's great on its own for just like to keep me looking awake and alive when you know I need it. It's so good and the way it feels is just so like, oh, it's so luxurious. It feels like a little spa in a bottle, so. Love this. Okay, so a couple other quick lifestyle products or style products, I guess. You guys have probably seen me in hats like this a lot this year and just like in general, really. Um, this hat has become my favorite. It's this like flat top hat. It's by a brand called Pineapple and Star. I also showed them in one of my vlogs a while ago when they sent me a few different hat styles and I love these for the beach. They're just so comfortable. They go with everything. I like their hats too because you can wear them a few different ways. So you could either wear them back on your head like this and kind of show like the little, I don't know, crown or like beginning of your hairline. Or I like to wear it even like this a little bit for just like a different, I would pull it down farther, but a little bit of a different vibe and then it also actually protects my face a little bit more. Their hats also are like UV protection hats. So I believe they have SPF 50 or whatever the term is. I'll put it here um, and I'll link them down below for you. You can get them on Amazon so they come really quickly and they're like around $30 each, so, which is pretty affordable for a good quality hat. I actually, so they sent 
me three and then I had one or two of their hats to begin with before that too. So I feel like I'm always in some version of a hat like this, but I just love them, especially wearing them to the beach with the swimsuit. I think that looks really cute and is super simple, but looks really stylish for summer too. Another way to look simple and stylish are in these jean shorts that I have quickly found myself obsessed with. They're undone in the fly right now because I don't have pants on yet again. I like never have pants on and I'm going to put these on after I film this video. But these are from Target. They're from the Wild Fable line. I showed them in my Target haul and they are just like my new obsession. I feel like I could wear these every single day. They're super flattering. They fit really high waisted. I also got the black pair and surprisingly the black pair actually fits a little tighter than the like light denim pair. So I like that this light denim pair fits me a little bit looser goes with everything just super simple like a good classic pair of denim shorts but for $15 you can't beat it and the fit and just high rise is like awesome all right then a couple candles real quick I want to mention so I actually got notified by speaking of Goriana the jewelry brand I got notified by them that they're launching a candle line which I'm super excited about so I went in stores and I picked one up and I was able to snag one before they're available um, because it was a promotion they were running and it just smells so good so it's not available you can't buy it yet but I basically just wanted to let you guys know it's coming and it smells phenomenal it's like one of these cutesy little tin candles like this. The scent is called Laguna, which is where they're based and located, and it's also the beach we go to all the time. But it smells like the most like rich, I don't know, intense summer vacation smell. It smells like a really good drink, but also the beach. It's just like amazing. So when you can get your hands on it, definitely I would do so. But another one that is available right now that you can get is this one by Sweetwater Decor. This is available on Amazon and it's their Spa Day number 37 candle. They also sent this to me, but this is one of their best-selling candles and it smells so good. It smells, again, really summery and beachy, but not too beachy. It's just really fresh. It totally does smell like a spa. So the notes in it are sea salt, jasmine, wood, and cream. Um, and I don't know, it just, it really smells like you're about to like go get a facial and like just chill out and zen for the day with a good drink in your hand. It's $24 on Amazon and it's really good quality and it's one of their um, soy candles. So wanted to mention this because I got this recently and have fallen in love with it. I'm obsessed with the scent. Both of these are just so summery and perfect. Another item I have become reliant on are my Apple AirPod Pro or AirPods Pro. So I have had the Apple AirPods for a long time since they came out and recently I picked up the newer version, the pro version that are, you know, the bigger ones. These are amazing because they're soundproof or like sound canceling, noise canceling. You put them in and you can literally like hear the sounds canceling around you that sounds so strange but it's true they also have a better fit than the like even just put i can not hear myself as well now talking as i could when i didn't have it in because it almost like you can feel it or you can hear it like kind of like hum and close around you if that makes sense um they also have a better like little grip on the part that actually goes in your ear so they stay in better they just work so freaking well so when i first saw these i was like okay $250 for new AirPods when I already have AirPods. I don't know, that doesn't really feel worth it. And now that I got them, I'm so glad I did because they have made my workouts just like on another level. I feel like I can actually zone out. I'm not hearing my feet run on the treadmill. I'm not hearing noise around me or background noise if I'm editing with them or you know listening to something on the computer or on my phone. I'm not hearing the kids screeching or whatever's going on around me. It just truly gives like a moment of just like focus for me. So I really, really love these. They definitely are an investment and like a treat yourself type of item but if you're in the market for something like that I would recommend grabbing them or you know if you're looking to get some I think it's worth it for sure um, I'm glad I got them and then I get these cute little cases just on Amazon too I really like this like nice little handy pink case and then I can clip it in the diaper bag or clip it wherever and it also helps me not lose the AirPods around the house two more things so real quick I have become obsessed with this like cat eye style sunglasses for summertime this is just a classic black pair they're so dirty so i don't know if you guys can tell how dirty they are but i love how like trendy these look and really simple they fit like every face type i feel like i've seen so many reviews on these um it's funny because i was watching jacqueline hill's 
Amazon like haul favorites type video that she put out recently and she mentioned this duo set of them that I was again influenced to buy. And so this is a set that you can get on Amazon. I think it's like $20, $19 or $15 and it's a set of two of them. There's like this black pair here and then there's the tortoise shell style which I love. I didn't have any cat eye style sunglasses in this tortoise shell version like that just looks so cute to me and looking through it it's very like bright and not too dark and I just like love the way these feel and I love the way they look I think it's so stylish um, but I so I ordered these two because I was like ooh, a two-pack I already love those I already have so many cat eyes at home a two-pack and a tortoiseshell style that I didn't have was awesome and when I got the two-pack I realized I already owned the black pair too so now I have this black pair like two of the exact same pair of sunglasses which is fine because I hoard sunglasses anyways and I will definitely use them um, but this two-pack also came with these cute little carrying cases too that are like good quality and just nice and simple so I love those I feel like cat eyes are like a good way to look super fashion forward even in quarantine when all we're wearing are t-shirts and jean shorts every single day. And then the very last thing I wanted to share as a favorite was actually this gift I got for Jordan for Father's Day. Um, these are the books from Hooray Heroes. So he has gotten me some like customizable books in the past and I have always been advertised these books on Instagram, um, Hooray Heroes. I don't know why that's like super hard for me to say, but these are the cutest little things. They are expensive, I will say. They are like, you know, it's an investment thing that you know you're gonna have forever. So for a kid's book, it's expensive, but you customize it. You customize the characters to look the way you want. So this is Jordan and Christian. Look at his little beard and then Christian has blonde hair. Christian, you'll always be my boy. They have a few different different versions of it and then it has like different stories and different adventures that they'll go on but then on top of the one that is all about Jordan and Christian I also got this one that is so just like touches my heart this one is the adventures of Arlo and Christian so I was sorry it's getting so dark but this one's the adventures of Arlo and Christian so I was able to customize one just about the two brothers too and I think that is the cutest thing and now they'll be able to read these forever and we can read them to them um, and it's just I think an adorable concept. Also you can have the option to get a gift box with them that is a game in itself. So we haven't played it yet obviously but the gift box it came in is like a little game too. So I think that's adorable and if you're looking to get somebody a good gift or maybe somebody's a new dad or something like that I would recommend. Like I said, expensive, but they're super cute. Okay, so I know that that was a lot of favorites. I, Funny enough, as always, I didn't think I had any because I haven't really been doing a lot this summer, but I found some new things I love. So I hope this video was fun for you to watch. Leave me a comment below and say hi, and I will see you guys in my next one. Have a fabulous weekend. Bye.